uh, I got another letter. I'm not even going to pre-read. I'm just reading uh, how I receive it. A lot of these is, you know, don't think that I can't read. Punctuation is not a priority to a lot of these. These are written in a, a lot of anger and haste. Not hate, but haste. They type in these bitches. This, these, these are all thumb written. Hey, I need y'all help. So I have an older sister who I just feel is toxic in my life. I feel like we are better when we aren't around each other. Like, I could miss her so much. But then when we get around each other, I realize how much of a fake ass bitch she is. Let me explain something to you. This is your letter to us about how toxic she is. And then you already, it's, we, we not even two sentences in and she a fake ass bitch. Yeah. All right, I mean, yeah. Last time we were around each other was three months ago when she came out to our home. She's in college and I came out to visit. Now she was pissing me off because we have different daddies and she'll talk shit about my daddy around me. <laughs> I'm not laughing because of your problem. I'm laughing just the language. It's fucking great. My daddy is far from perfect, but he stepped in when her daddy wasn't, wasn't thorough. So you're not going to disrespect my father in front of me and expect me not to say nothing. Um, sorry, not sorry. And also, we got into a real bad argument about me wearing her pants. <laughs> Why you wearing her pants? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why you wear her pants, dog? <laughs> she should fuck you up. Y'all just got into it. Do you understand in an argument? I know. <laughs> I know. Them. <laughs> <laughs> they made my motherfucking leggings. Because <laughs> the thing is that a whole ass covering panty is not even popular these days. It's some kind of cheek out in them, in them pants. And I, I think the letter explains why she had the pants on. Now what happened was I was in my room and I was about to walk outside. Nope. That's your room. That's your room. That's where your shirts live. That's where your pants live. Your pants should have been in your room somewhere. Hmm? Why could you not get to your pants in your room? I thought you was—I thought you was in a basement or something. If you was in—if you was in the hallway, you woke up in the hallway and it was just you and her pants, and y'all had some explaining to do, like Saul. How you just wake up and it's like, "Hello, let's play a game." These pants. You don't know who pants is it. You put the pants on. You in your room though. You knew they weren't your pants. Number one, you're toxic. But let's continue. So I needed some quick pants to put on. I looked on the floor, see some purple pants, and hurried up and threw them on and went outside. Purple pants. You know some purple pants, not yours. Who got purple pants? Let's let's think about who got purple pants. Like I think Beetlejuice got some purple pants, or somebody like that. Like uh, Joker, Joker pants is purple. Joker has purple pants for show. Uh, who else has a purple? Barney, Barney. Like when Barney goes somewhere, like you know, I think Barney had won an award. He had a dog ass purple suit on. You don't have no purple pants though. Oh, you ain't shit. Let me finish, though, because I guess that's how you want to play it. Well, when she seen him, she was on the phone with her significant other and decided to do the most. She started yelling at me like I'm some little ass kid screaming at me to take them off and calling me out my name. Oh, when you getting called out your name? You fucking up, man. Call me out my name. Demand I take them off now. Mind you. Oh, I love 2020. Like she wrote, mind you. Come on now. Look, come with the Come with the lingo. Mind you. The door, this is a good story. Mind you, the door was locked, but she said, quote, I don't give a fuck if you don't have anything else to wear. Take my shit off now and walk around pantless, bitch. She, she also did not type bitch. I added that for flavor. Now, me being me, I explained that I didn't know these were hers and shit was, they was in my room. Which one was it? Hmm? Which one was it? Because that don't sound right. You didn't know they wasn't yours or they was in your room. Because both of those sound like a defense. But that's two different defense teams. They, they, they both came to court. Who are they? We got the defense that we don't even, we don't even know these are our fans. We got the defense that, well, shit, they was in our room. Uh, Your Honor, there was there two defenses and one uh, plaintiff. I don't know. It's the fact that you are trying to do the most. And because you on the phone with a nigga who ain't even your nigga trying to embarrass me when I'm your sister, girl, I'm telling you. And let me say, this the nigga who is her nigga tried to fuck me. Oh! <gasps> Oh, that's getting good, y'all. It's getting good. And I told her, but she did nothing about it and is still in a relationship with him to this day. Mm, mm, mm. So after I went off mm. on her about these little pants and we exchanged words and I did not talk to her anymore while she was staying at home, she left 
And since then, I haven't spoke to her. In parentheses, in all caps, she is blocked on everything possible. That means she probably blocked her on Instagram, Facebook, MySpace, LinkedIn, motherfucking Pinterest. God, Etsy. Okay, I know this might sound petty, but this lady has talked of my weight gain in front of other people for a laugh. Oh, so you thicker than you were. Why do you have her pants on then? She thinks you're fat. The plot thickens, the paper thickens, you thickened. Talked of my weight gain in front of other people for a laugh, chosen friends over me when I needed her the most, physically put her hands on me, whoo, shalalala. And when we were younger, told me things about my father and mother's marriage that a child should never know. Girl, this is resonating with me. She threw this in my face all the time and many other things. I think I will never speak on because they are just too disgusting. I feel you. Lately, my mother has been telling me I need to talk to her, but honestly, it's been months and I don't need her in my life. I am a firm believer of anybody can get cut the fuck off if you're toxic. My life has been nothing but positive since she's left, but once again, my mother is saying we are sisters. Lord, I know this lady, I, I, but she doesn't know the half. Do y'all think I'm wrong for cutting my blood sister off? I know that we are blood, but I can love her and not want her in my life, right? Hell yes, bitch. <laughs> You do whatever it takes to make you happy, baby. If she don't make you happy, and you know these damn them vibes are wrong, and your whole being is wrong around her, stay away. She is a bitch, okay? That's just what it is. Your sister's a bitch, but it's okay because she's not the first and she's not the last bitch. Sibling rivalry is real. You know, everyone who has siblings encounters rivalry with the siblings, and it's just kind of a part of, of nature. You know, you don't meet too many families that have never had any kind of discrepancy or kind of squabble with other family members. This is a clear cut situation of everybody's a little toxic, right? From the top to the bottom, until you said the girl was in college, from the top to the bottom, this is my <laughs> life. From the top to the bottom, that bitch was talking about my daddy too. Okay, oh, my daddy don't want to pay child support, your daddy don't pay nothing. Bitch, I used to hear it all, okay? Mama found you. She, I mean, she used to talk something like my, and me and my sister don't have the same dad. Like, it's crazy that this letter resonates with me so bad. And she's my older sister. She put me through a lot. And for a long time, I did not talk to that bitch. Like, I don't have time. She told my nieces and nephews stuff that wasn't right. Like, it's stuff I don't want to talk about. Just like how you said it's disgusting. And all I got to say is, the, the funny thing about it is, she called me last night. And this is the first time I talked to her in a while. And she was talking to me about some other stuff. But I, my mom tells me the same thing that your mom tells you. You know, do all that. But I love her from a distance. Okay, I can't never stop loving her because she my sister. If a bitch tried to do something to her, I would ride for my sister. But at the end of the day, we can't be friends. Like <laughs> if people not right, no, you don't have to keep them in your life. But then too, you'd be like, well, mama said, because you know you wanna, you know, you always want to keep your mama in, you know, because you love mama. But mama, you want me to just take abuse and abuse? Unfortunately, the thing is with your blood, that's God. God created that unity of people and they're in your life for a reason it's for you to grow it's for you to learn it's not always going to be positive but you can't cut them off completely you should keep and maintain the cordialness or the cordiality cordial y'all know what i'm trying to say there's some word that, that could fit right there cordiality now you said you also said that her boyfriend was for the streets and then he tried to talk to you and that imani got mad at you because you were wearing her pants one day well, I think it was a blessing because if her boyfriend is for the streets like you say he is, Amani could have saved you from getting them goddamn crabs. So look, don't put your ass in her pants. Don't put your ass in her underwear. Don't put your ass in nothing, okay? She did you a favor. And as far as this whole dad situation, Amani, your dad was there, her dad wasn't. You win. You say you get mad every time she says something about your dad or whatever, and it pisses you off. Bitch, she didn't even have a daddy. You did. That's all. You could just kill her with that. Well, let, bitch, who is your dad? That's all you got to say. What's your daddy's name? Did your daddy speak with you? Her answer to all of that is no, no, and no. And understand that this is the person that also, if you are in the worst rut, she will be there for you. You know what I'm saying? That's the sister civic duty. And also, you never want to be in a situation where you lose a family member and you regret not being able to tell them that you love them or that you were on good terms, you know, if something tragic were to happen. Now, I'm not wishing that upon anything in the world, but I'm trying to put it in perspective that you, ne you never know. This life is way too short and you want to keep those that you are, like, you're innately born with someone close. Some people don't have siblings, you know? 
Some people wish they long to have that little fight, just these, these little squabbles that you're having. And that's a, and that's a thing that like, that you got to understand and look at the bright side of it because there's always a, a, a lesson for learning in every negative circumstance. You got to see it from her side. If she, if she's called you fat, she doesn't want you in her pants, but you got to do better though. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. No, 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 because I know you're watching the video like, what, 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 who the fuck, this nigga? No, 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 no. How many pair of purple pants do you own? Purple pants is a decision. Purple pants is a lifestyle. Where your pants at? How many pair of pants in your room aren't yours? So she came over and just took over the pants? Pants that make her dance, and, and, yo, and you can't even find your pants. You're a liar. You're kind of like a gaslighter. Like, because it's like, fam, just say, my bad, I put your pants on. Damn, why you fronting on me though? Right, she didn't have to front on you. And in front of the nigga. You also didn't have to get fronted on at all. Imagine that though. You got the short end of the stick. And the thing is, you was holding the stick the whole time. So you broke the stick down to a little bitty short piece, gave it to her and said, give it back to me. And she gave it to you. And this is all I get? Wow, I thought we were sisters. What the fuck did you expect? She's toxic, you're trifling. T and T, T and Tamira, sister, sister. And then the weight gain thing, fuck it, man. It's quarantine. We all gaining weight this year. Fuck it, who gives a damn? You know what I'm saying? As long, and, and, and you know what? Gain it in the right spots. Gain some more weight. I don't give a fuck. If you're looking good and you feel good about yourself, then keep doing your thing. All you and your sister need to do is forgive each other. That's it. That's that's the answer to all your problems is forgiveness. And if not, your mama need to be both gas. And that's the gym that I'm dropping for toxic sisters. What's up, y'all? Cynthia Luciette here. For exclusive episodes of Dropping Gems, make sure you go subscribe to our nation channel. That's youtube.com slash alldefnation. We have full episodes of this show. We have our other show, Half Woke News, where we break down crazy stories from the week. Go check it out. Go subscribe. See you over there. youtube.com slash alldefnation.